Would the microwave gravitational pulse echolocation signal processing involve new mathematics to account for temporal shifts? In terms of a tachyonic anti-telephone, being a device that can receive a signal before it is sent, which is essentially the end goal of microwave gravitational pulse echolocation, being a device that can send a signal through time, there would definitely need to be a new mathematics, possibly a whole new field of study entirely, devoted to this outcome. However, for experiments using microwave gravitational pulse echolocation to be performed does not require time travel to have been proved, and so by sending pulsed signals across time, we may come to discover how time travel can occur and thus eventually arrive at the tachyonic anti-telephone. Sending signals blindly across the time dimension by itself should not require any maths that contradict general and special relativity principles. However, once we begin aiming these messages, as in arcs that bend back again to their own origin in a CTC, then we will need to begin modifying existing equations to conform to new observations regarding the nature of time, the speed of light, the cause of gravity, etc.